Hey guys, we got back last night from our big trip to the reseller rally in Cincinnati. Plus we went over to Shenandoah National Park in Virginia as well. Um, it was such a fun trip. We had a great time, but we were ready to come home. I do now have about 30 orders to ship out. I thought I'd show you guys some of it while I talked about the whole trip and hopefully it's not super long. <laughs> so um, the first thing I'm gonna show you is for $100, we have this Oneida My Rose silverware set listed it right before we left and it ended up selling i think right after um so we'll get that shipped out and then we also have two mayan as aztec wall plaques that i picked up um i paid two bucks a piece i believe uh 42 plus shipping combined so there's the first one and the second one they're 3d super cool nice and heavy so we left a week ago as of today right today's thursday yep we left a week ago drove after my husband got off of work we ended up making it over to i forgot around davenport iowa i believe it was um to the world's largest truck stop which was super cool we stayed overnight ended up waking up going and getting a shower at the truck stop which is what we normally do since we go in our van um that was fun and then later that day we ended up making it to cincinnati about an hour before the little pre-event on friday which was super fun made a lot of new friends, met some old friends. Um, we just had overall a great time. Next thing we have is for 540 free ship. Um, this is a Sarah Coventry engravable little keychain. I can tell it is because it's marked at the way top, really small. And we also got for 420 plus shipping this tag visor. I've sold several of these if I can find them cheap enough. Usually I'll pick them up. Um, so yeah, the Friday event was really cool, stayed up pretty late, um, ended up crashing the Trash to Cash podcast, they were doing a live show, Teresa and I from Grandma Pops Vintage went over there and made a short appearance as well as a bunch of other people, which was really cool, so you kind of got to figure out who everyone was. Um, then on Saturday morning, got up early, ended up going garage selling with Grandma and Pops Teresa, Sonia from Jimmy Old School Flips, and Frank and Janelle from FJ Treasures. They're the ones that did that bubble wrap video that everyone was talking about a few months ago. That was fun. Brought home some stuff. It's still actually out in the van right now, so I'll have to show you guys that later. Uh, then we went over to the Trash to Cash St. Jude Charity Auction. It took about a couple hours, but they did raise about five grand. I think it was a six, but after fees and everything, I think it brings it down to about five grand. Really cool. It was really cool to watch the behind the scenes because when they did that in Vegas, I wasn't able to go and watch. Um, I'm trying to think what else. Then we had a little bit of time to just chill out. So I actually went and took a nap because I was not feeling good um, after staying up super late and then waking up early for sales, took a nap, and then we went on to the reseller rally boat ride, the main event. Um, show you a couple more things. We sold this electric wine set, $6 plus shipping. It's new in the packaging. And then we sold for $43.20 plus ship, we sold this Magnavox DVD player. It comes with the remote, all the instructions. We've had it in here for a minute, but finally got it out and I'm glad I don't have to move this so we got those and then the remote found that actually in the garbage um I actually picked someone's garbage that they had on the side of the road and found that so a free 43 bucks which is pretty cool we then sold these chandelier Monet earrings for 1320 plus ship they are the clip-on kind really cute I think I got these on whatnot I think if not it was a garage sale um, talking about the boat event, it was really cool. Um, my only complaint was the music was a little loud. I'm not someone that likes to sit there and talk over music to talk to people. Um, I don't like to talk very loud. I'm not a loud talker. So it, it was it was okay. I dealt with it for a little bit, but then I ended up just going onto a different part of the boat where the music wasn't super loud. The food was great on the boat. They had mashed potatoes and cheesecake. So good. They had other stuff too, but those were like my highlights. Um, 80 plus shipping. Sold this amethyst little decanter. Really, really pretty. Just picked this up too about a month ago. Um, the boat ride was really cool. And then they gave us swag bags with all kinds of stuff in it. Ended up getting a little mini Ikea bag. As well as two larger Ikea bags from, I think, my reseller Genie. And was it List Perfectly that did the other bag? Vendu maybe? One of those companies did that. 
Um, I don't have it in here with me, otherwise I would have shown you. I also got a Moe's plush from Harry Tornado. He was going up to the crowd at the live whatnot, and he's like, oh, like, who wants it? And a bunch of us raised our hand. He pointed at me, and he's like, I like your hair, and he threw it at me. So I have a Moe's plush now, which was super cool. So yeah, that was really cool. We met a bunch of cool people, like, like I said, Josh. I didn't really meet him, but I did give him my sticker. I didn't really want to bug him. Um, Paul Philly Flipper, I've met a few times, or... I talked to a few times at the event, which was super cool. Frank and Janelle from FJ Treasures were new people. Um, Amy Beach by Repeat and her husband, Matt, we finally got to meet them. Who else? A bunch of people. A bunch of people I could sit here and think about. I have a really hard time remembering stuff, so I know I'm going to forget somebody. But if I met you, um, it was really nice meeting you at the event. I'm not really a social person, but events like these, I don't know. I'm just so passionate about what I do and what others do that... I just was having a good time. Um, 1750 plush ship. This is a large expandable 31 toe. If you unzip this middle part, it actually expands another few inches. So you get a nice large tote for carrying all kinds of stuff. 1050 plus ship, plus ship, plus ship. Um, this little uh, Sony DRX rewritable dual drive i don't know i've had this for a while honestly wasn't a great pickup it took forever to sell because i can tell because it has my old listing set up on it <laughs> um seven plus ship we sold seven plus ship we sold this tie actually no seven free ship so we're not getting a lot uh 30 plus ship we sold another rainbow rainmate i believe i have one left but it is not currently listed um as of right now i am done listing we're moving a week from tomorrow, so now it's time to get stuff packed up. My store is going to stay live until I'm thinking this Saturday, or sorry, Sunday or Monday, I'm going to shut it off completely and delist everything. My plan is once I move, move, slowly go through each listing, make sure that the right price, make sure the title's good, make sure the description's good, and slowly relist everything in my new area since I'm going to have to redo the inventory system on it anyways since we have a whole shelf space that I'm going to have to start labeling once we get there. So you, got, you guys will follow me through that journey once we do that. Um, 60, I believe 60 plus shipping, Wallace and Grummet. I was so excited to find these. I found these when went picking with Grandma Pops Vintage and Graham's sister and my mom found these when we went to Orange City, Iowa, and they sold. I was re really surprised. These actually sold while we were at the rally. Um, 56 plus shipping. This is interesting. So when we originally moved to this house, this piece was in our garage. It was just left there. Um, turns out it's a piece to a 1970 to 73 Camaro spoiler. It's not in the best condition. It does have, you know, some cracks. Still sold for $56. So we just have about a $50 bill laying in our garage. Um, and also, excuse the mess, I've been working on packing up. Like, I used to have trinkets all over this shelf. Got those packed up before we left. And now I gotta keep tearing apart my office. Um, we've got a longer burger purse. $9.25 plus shipping. I got this on Whatnot a long time ago. As you can tell, I don't source on Whatnot much anymore, but I'm finally selling things that I did get from Whatnot. $15.30 plus ship for this Spongebob Squarepants movie VHS. Mine is not in great condition, but if you have one that's in better condition, you could get, you know, 20, 25, 30 bucks on it. 980 plus ship we sold this nordic wear pan it's a little cute holiday tree one keep an eye out for these so this is actually a funnel for a water baby you know you fill them up with water so it's actually like got the nozzle so you can fill it up easier um i had an extra because i lotted together the rest of my water babies as a big lot with a nozzle already so this alone sold for 1050 plus ship so you never know you might find this in a free bin somewhere or something so maybe someone doesn't know what it is 21 plus shipping we sold a finding nemo new old stock alarm clock five plus ship we sold this possibility thinkers creed keychain 875 plus ship we sold another one of these drawing pencils 1260 plus ship we sold this primary green pyrex bowl not in the best condition you can see there's some wear on it but we still got it sold 14 plus ship new old stock clock got that in a, at an estate sale earlier 
1750 plus ship. We sold this old rose art fuzzy poster. Five plus ship for this Vera Bradley purse. 1540 free ship for this pampered chef. Knives, I picked them up for like five bucks at a sale um, just recently. 42 plus ship, we sold this old 7-Eleven employee uniform. Seven free ship. Another 875 plus ship for these pencils. We finally sold all of them. Five plus ship for this little US Bank piggy keychain. I remember my mom having one like this when I was younger, but I did get three of these for like 75 cents or something like that. So we already made profit. Old, I was gonna say jewelry, silverware set. They aren't gold. It's just the yellowing of the package. They're actually silver Um, in the package. It's been here for a minute. So we finally got that sold. And last but not least, we sold this coin for eight 65 free ship getting back into the rest of the rally stuff um after the rally we went to shenandoah national park met one of our friends that we've known for a while um finally met him in person camped for two nights and then we actually went over to meet up with kevin commonwealth picker and his wife this was unexpected i wasn't expecting to do that this trip but since we were so close um we talked and i went over there saw the cabin in person which was super cool um sat there and talked with his wife they also took us out to lunch which was super awesome it just really made my day um i had no clue like joining the trash to cash discord and becoming a moderator and everything getting to know all the guys um and little did i know that i'd be you know standing in the cabin about a year later i've been in the discord about a year now um so it's just an awesome experience kevin if you're watching i really appreciate it it's really nice to sit around with you and your wife um talk about ebay stuff talk about business talk about taxes <laughs> all kinds of stuff how, just how he does his things and i also got to meet some of their animals their two dogs wallen and sophie and then i got to meet um i think it's pepper yeah the black cat which reminds me a lot of ninja she was like they act the same so yeah that is everything that sold i'm gonna try to get this all packed up uh to get shipped out tomorrow and then we're gonna probably like i said close my store up here in a couple days and then finally get packed up to move which is super exciting so follow me along follow along with me <laughs> on this journey see you guys later hey guys it is monday the 9th and today is the day that i had decided to shut down my ebay store completely we have a few orders going out which we'll need to go out tomorrow because today is a holiday for the post office um and then as soon as i pack all my orders i need to tear down my whole computer setup because we are selling my desk i'm gonna get a new one when we move so it's a busy day i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys what sold so far and i need to go out to the trailer and grab the final things the last time we'll ever be pulling from the ebay trailer let's go all right guys there we go the store is officially empty so now i'm gonna get going and show you guys what all sold all right guys, as quickly as I can, here is everything that sold. Um, I did pull yesterday and last night my phone was cha-chinging off the hook. So we do have more that's outside to also have to go grab. But $14.35 plus shipping for these Skechers. They don't have the laces, but they are in great condition. Um, $45 plus ship. This is a jewelry piece that I decided not to put in my whatnot show. The box is not in great condition, but it's one of these colors of life interchangeable little jewelry kits. Um, so you get the little necklace and then you can change out the gemstones. Did I already say 45 plus ship for that? Um, 2240 free ship. Yeah. This minion cupcake plush, seven plus ship. We sold a department 56 M&M &M tree. This is one that did not have the box. So I just wrapped it up in bubble wrap there. 94.50 plus shipping. We have a set of four. I'll just show you guys one of Tiffany champagne flutes. Really cool. Um, the story with these was I saw the Tiffany box at a garage sale and it had a champagne bucket in there and I wanted to buy it. And they had these glasses and I wasn't sure that they were Tiffany. And I told them that they could keep the glasses. I'll just take the champagne bucket because I was more excited about the champagne bucket. Turns out the champagne flutes were Tiffany. They are marked, I believe, on the bottom somewhere. Yeah, there's a little stamp. And I was like, I almost missed out on like $100 if 
if they didn't make me take those glasses. The champagne bucket itself isn't worth as much as these glasses. Eight plus ship, or no, eight free ship. We have a willow tree. Probably not gonna pick up willow trees much anymore unless they're really good. Eight dollars and 45 cents plus ship. We have this cute little Napier heart bracelet. I don't remember where I got that. 11 plus ship, we have these. I just picked them up at a garage sale in Orange City, Iowa with Graham and Pops. Um, I was going to get around 2025, I think, if I was more patient, but I did put my store on a big sale just to try to get as much as I could out again right before we leave. So those sold for 11. So either way, we, we doubled the money. Um, 50 plus ship, another thing from Orange City, Iowa. This Harley Davidson vest. Um, I did have it listed at like 75, I believe, but someone went ahead and bought it at that price. 10 plus ship. We have a little dress. This came from an auction lot. Um, just a vintage baby dress. It's been in here for a while. 18 plus ship. We sold a cast iron kitty. Really cute. Mine was actually one of the worst condition ones on eBay, so I'm glad that sold. 23, and unfortunately this was free ship. I thought it was plus ship when I accepted the offer. That's one thing I'm going to change. I don't think I'm ever going to do free shipping on eBay anymore, um, but 23 free ship on that. It's just when I have sales, things like that, I'll have some a handful of items that are free ship and I forget, and then I end up taking a way low offer, not considering that there's no shipping on there. Um, I have this lot of 23 bullet pencils. You guys can't see them, but I have great luck with bullet pencils, guys. 27 plus ship on those. I sold a couple of John Deere ones earlier this year for, I think it's 45 for two of them. And it was for a John Deere dealership here in my town that is no longer open, I believe. So I think that's why they sold for so high. Um, this Westmoreland satin blue glass, 12 plus shipping. This is one of those things I got at a free sale that I ended up giving the lady money for because I got so much decent stuff there. These Can Can jeans, 12 plus shipping. I've had these forever and I realized that eBay put the dimensions as like 25 by 12 by 12. And so the shipping was outrageous and I just noticed that a few days ago. So we changed that. 15 plus ship. This is a Sarah Coventry pin. Got that at the, um, it was like a, not a church sale, um, but it was very similar to that. 480 plus ship. We have a couple more of the little crystal figurines. We're getting down to the bottom of the box of those. Six free ship. Got these Apple earbuds. These are always, to me, a good pickup. Like, they're just a bread and butter item. People buy them, even if they're used. We do have a board game that's been sitting here in my office because someone bought it and then canceled. 21 plus ship. Ow. <laughs> um, and then another 21 plus ship. We have this book set. Got that at a church sale. I don't remember how much I paid for those, honestly. Um, 11 plus ship. Sold these amethyst black salt and pepper shakers. Really cute. I like those a lot. Um, and then the rest of what we have is all stuff that is still in the trailer. So I'm going to go ahead and get this stuff packed up and then I will come back to you guys later this afternoon when I have the rest of the stuff pulled. All right, guys, I'm out here in the trailer for the last time pulling orders. $5.40 plus ship for this Panera hat. $7.20 plus ship. $11.40 plus ship. Unfortunately, this didn't sell for much, and I have a second one as well. $9 plus ship. $9.60 free ship. $10.80 plus ship. $33 plus ship for this lot of keychains, and $18 free ship on this car part. Here is the new office. Got a window. Look at that. This eBay storage area. And then there's a laundry room right there. Hey guys, it's Alicia. It is Sunday, October 15th. We are here in the new house. We moved in, or we closed on it two days ago. Um, giving you a brief overview of my office area. Getting this wall prepped to start painting. I want to start painting these two walls today. Um, my new desk comes in on Tuesday and I'm hoping to start listing things 
and getting my eBay store back running on Wednesday. So here's what we're currently working with. All of these beige and brown paint colors, I'm changing it to gray and black. And we're gonna shampoo the carpets. We're going to get all set up on my Barbies on these shelves and stuff like that. So I'll kind of keep you guys updated. It's been, I don't remember the last time I recorded, to be honest with you. It's been super crazy these past few days, but um, yeah. And then Ninja's down here inspecting the ladder. Anyways, guys, I'm gonna get started on all this and I'll update you guys later. Hey guys, it's Monday the 16th. I am out and about, just grabbed a coffee. Went to the post office, we have some fan mail, basically. Um, thank you guys um, to all three of you that sent me things. I will show you all what I got when I get home because the stuff is currently in the trunk. Don't mind this, this is all my computer stuff that I still haven't moved out of my car because I'm waiting to set up my office. Yesterday, I got quite a bit of my office painted, not quite halfway done yet because the fireplace is taking forever to paint the brick. Um, but today I figured I'd come out, needed to check my P.O. box, um, I figured I'd get a coffee, and now I'm gonna go check out a few thrift stores since I don't really have to worry about moving the stuff here. Um, figured I would go source, kinda just to do, just some scoping out to see what stores I wanna start hitting on the regular and see if I can find anything cool. So let's go. All right, also, I just spent way more time in that store than I should have, but this store I'd never been to before, and I actually really like it, and the prices were decent. My total spend was $30 even. Um, they had a 25% off sale. It was supposed to be like $36, and they just took it down to $30. I first got a set of four of these Carnival Glass tumblers. They had a marked at $250 each, which I thought was pretty good, so it would have been originally $10 for the set. They're selling like 20 to 30 on eBay. Not great, but I thought they were a cool pickup. This is something I would enjoy selling. And that's for a set of four. I just checked the comps for sets of four only. Um, then we picked up, this was my first find in that store and it got me really excited. Um, this red leather skirt, what brand is it? Finity, it's a size 12. Um, there is a little bit of damage from the clothes hanger they had it on unfortunately but I did see some decent ones listed um one sold but you never know with clothing sometimes there's certain sizes uh and stuff like that that would make it easier to sell if someone's looking for a specific size then I got this I believe it was marked at 15 let's see the tag is there yep 15 it is a tactical vest um, of course with the percentage off it was like what maybe around 11 dollars um so all in all good I should be able to make all my money back just on this and then the rest would be like free profit or same with the skirt i should be able to make money all my money like one of these items selling it should make all my money back that i just spent and the rest would be profit so i'm really excited this thrift store was really cool um they were super nice like whenever they saw me pick up something that i wanted to buy they grabbed it from me and took it to the front which was awesome so i didn't have to worry about carrying stuff around but they also didn't really have carts or baskets in there because it's a really small store so that's really nice that they did that and i do plan to go back i'm like as i was buying stuff as, pe as people were taking stuff off the shelves and stuff they would put something in its place right away so that's basically how they restock is just look for spaces because the store is already pretty full so yeah great experience now i think we're, i'm gonna go out to lunch Ugh. sorry i'm stuttering i'm really excited so i'm going to go out to lunch with my husband so i'll see you guys there <laughs> 